What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, Oki learned to finally stop being a total selfish dipshit, and he became one of the coolest characters in the entire game. And in this episode, we are going to be finishing up here in the Waku Shrine and taking down those demons, Lechku and Nechku. As you can see, the one reason we brought this ice ball over here is to freeze all of these things. So, we're going to get right to that. Now, let's see if I can get over to this one in time. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ugh! Made it. All right, now let's cherry bomb our way through here. And let's see, what do we got? Ah, we got ourselves a lockjaw key. It's good. Now we have to bring ice from here. Let's see if we can freeze all of these. Sweet! All in one go. Take it. Oh, except for that one over there, loser. It's okay, it's the one I don't really need anyway. I almost didn't make that jump. Ugh! Remember to double jump. That is kind of important. All right. And continuing along. Now, I will admit, I never actually addressed this, but I think the Waku Shrine has some, some uh, just fantastic music. I think it's really, really cool how creepy it gets here. So, I don't. what am I doing? I don't need to use that. I have this. And I missed the second treasure chest because I was too quick with my brushstroke. But yeah, the music here is really cool and very creepy, too. And you heard the music of the fight against um, Lechku and Nechku, and honestly, I think that music is... Absolutely amazing. So as you can see, Oki is right up the head. And we're going to sell to this uh, imp merchant, whatever he's doing here. I have no idea. Why is there an imp merchant here? Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll just, to make use of him, stock up on feed bags here. But I, he doesn't really have anything I need. Okay. Whatever. Through the Golden Gate we go. And glitching through the Golden Gate we go. Anyways, the awesome music is back. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's my favorite. Uh, okay, let's talk to Oki. Oki, how'd you get here so quick? Actually, I owe it to that wolf and his little friend. A punkel appeared after you left and told me to go help a Matrasu. So that was the wolf's companion you were talking about, right? That wolf really seemed to perk up when that punkel appeared. It looked like the wolf had recovered somewhat. I sensed that they had a bond, a bond that made me feel they'd be okay. Oh, if only you knew. If only you knew, Oki. So I left them and came rushing here. But enough talk for now. I take it that if you're here, those demons must be somewhere up ahead. Well, Amaterasu, will you fight alongside me? Of course, let's rumble. Oh, spirits of the air, earth and sea, grant us your divine power. And up we go. And let us begin the battle against Lechku and Nechku, the demons of Kamui. This fight is actually super cool. The music's awesome. Everything about this fight is just really cool. Unfortunately, Oki sucks, so that's kind of anticlimactic. But other than that, this is a really, really good fight. Now, here's the thing about Oki. Oki's just going to fight. You're just going to have to repel their attacks for a little bit. Whenever that egg pops up, just power slash it. As soon as he does that, he's going to want you... As soon as he'll give me the chance, wait for it. Ah! I was not paying attention to that. Now let's see if I can get them, get to stun them again. Here we go. So we're gonna want to use electricity on their sword, and then once you've done that, Oki's gonna run up here, hold, um, bite, pull him back, fling them at him, and that's going to stun them. Power slash to send him down. Use mist, and you're gonna start wailing away on this poor son of a bitch. All right. So just go at it. Faster, faster. Swing, swing. Just keep using mist. Don't let him don't let him recover, please. 
Take, try to take him down in one shot. You should be good. If you have Solar Flare with Gold Dust, this is not a problem at all. And down he goes. All right, on to Nechku. And Nechku's going to probably send a horde of attacks at us. What's he going to send first? A bomb. Okay, I think with that one, you're going to want to use Solar fl Flare on it. And there you go. That should get rid of that so he doesn't send it at you. Start slashing these back at him. And all you have to basically do is stall for time until Oki decides that now is the time to go flying at them, which is apparently now. Oh, man, I didn't even pull him back far enough. Wow, that was just sad. All right, let's try that again. Now, he's going to give us another shot. Pull it back. And there we go. And let's take him down. Come on, come on now. There he goes. And Oki's attacking too, helping out just a little bit, but he still sucks, so he's not going to be doing that much. Really, all he is is a means to an end. How does that make you feel, Oki? All right, well, that's okay. Because... He is dead. The twin demons which had suddenly awoken atop Ezofuji and tried to lay waste to the land of Kamui were defeated. They disappeared in a burst of petals thanks to Oki and Amaterasu. However, a giant cloud black as night cast a shadow on the scene. Blight. Nine Tails. The twin demons Lechku and Nechku. The souls of each were swept into the cloud as it moved. It drifted toward the Ark of Yamato at the bottom of Lauichi Lake. The Ark of Yamato is beckoning all of the world's darkness within. Tuskel's words echoed ominously, awakening Amaterasu's heart. All the sacrifices. All the life lost in the name of good. Was it all in vain? Shirinui, Amaterasu's 100-year-old incarnation, was fatigued and exhausted by the intense battle. However, when Shiranui noticed the glow of Oki's sword Kutone, a sly smile seemed to crease the wolf's tired lips. Satisfied with this bright glimmer of hope, Shiranui struggled to rise and put every last ounce of strength into passing through Ishaku's gate back in time, back home. As Amaterasu and Isun looked on, they were fully aware that Shiranui headed back into the face of danger to the battle with Orochi. After saving Nagi from the clutches of death and aiding them in their own quest, Shirunui would die a hero, marking the beginning of the legend of Orochi. As Ishaku left the scene, his eyes betrayed the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for a grave event. And as a reward, no, we do not get that last divine instrument, but instead we get that last sun fragment. You bet I got perfect on time and damage. Would I like to save the game? Nah. <laughs> That's a good trophy name, I like it. Amaterasu and the others returned to the foot of Ezofuji. There they saw Lika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezofuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely surveyed the scene stoically remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his mind. Heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Samical. The chieftain who had rescued Kemu from the shrine stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of the emotions behind the gesture. 
Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his hand in turn. The moment they shook hands, Webkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Kutune, the sword that vanquished the, tin the twin demons, it was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands. And as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Kutune's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil. At that moment, a brilliant flash of light shot forth from Kutune, striking squarely on the frozen surface on Laoichi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark, Yamato, said to have fallen from heaven, and the holy Laoichi Lake which it called home was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present.